Reductions are very common in ductwork systems. Reductions are defined as changes in the size of the duct cross-sectional area and are used to alter the airflow direction and speed. Reductions are the only kind of duct fittings that should be made using the flat pieces method. There are different kinds of reductions depending on the number of sides to be reduced, one, two, three or four sides, and the axis of the two entrances, centered or off-centered. The following aspects common to the manufacture of the reductions should be considered. The straight part of the reduction, called dimension X, must be taken into account and must be a minimum of 10 cm in size. This ensures a suitable amount of clean of air material on which the main duct leading to the final reduction can be fixed. It's better if the reduction is as long as possible in order to avoid sudden impacts with the airflow. If the reduction is to propel the airflow, then the reduction must be made from the male side. If the opposite case is required, it must be made from the female side. When possible, start with the flat piece, which provides a good guide from which to construct the reduction. All sides which are folded must have transversal cuts with closed angles, clefts. Try to avoid leaving open cuts that may weaken the duct board. When bending the flat pieces, an inner angled cut, cleft, with a dimension of X, is made and bent into place. It should always be on the side of the module. Similarly, another cut is made on the outer edge of the module, also with dimension X. Sometimes a sudden change in direction or in the duct section makes it necessary to cut segments, bevel cuts on the duct board. All clefts and cuts must always be glued or taped.